Good morning. Happy Monday. Welcome to the mo morning show. Jennifer, how are you? Happy Monday. I'm good. Yes. I'm good. Welcome back. Yeah, welcome back to you. Yes. It's been uh, it's been a crazy couple days. It has So, been. oh my gosh, did you have a good Thanksgiving? We had a wonderful Thanksgiving. <clears throat> yeah. Yes, we did. How about you? Oh, uh, we had a wonderful time. Uh, we did the double family deal and... In one day? Yeah. Oh my gosh, I have a Thanksgiving... Another story I forgot to tell you. Let's hear it. I can't tell you right now. <laughs> um, so yeah, so we went to my wife's family for about four hours and then we went to my brother's house who... Uh, he hosted, and that was nice. So we just, yeah, we hung out. It was good. Cool. Yeah. Was that Joey's first time hosting? No, he hosted uh, a couple years ago. Oh, good. Yeah, so it was fun. So where'd you, what'd you guys do? You guys <coughs> ski daddled. We, yep, we we ski daddled. We headed north uh, for opening day at Nubs Nub. Opening up in day. Harbor Springs. Yes. That's awesome. We were in line for the first round of um, chairlifts. Really? Yes. Wow. Yeah, we got up early. So what time do you have to get up to do the something? The early like turkey that? catches the worm. <laughs> uh, we were up early on Thursday. But um, yeah, they had snow, which was great. We actually, when we got there, there was a ton of snow. Um, you guys but, look like a celebrity family. Oh, and please. I've told you, your husband looks like a celebrity. I can't he put does. my finger on it, but That's he just does. He's so handsome. But um, yeah, we had a ball, so it was great. My mom went with us. Cool. She um, must have taken that photo. She did take that photo. She did. So we had a great time, did all the things that you do up north. But it was um, every day it got warmer and warmer. And on yeah. Saturday, it was 50 degrees. So yeah. they were skiing like just. You better believe they were skiing in their Titan sweatshirts. Oh, I bet. Yes. I bet. Yeah, how about that? Gosh, what a game. Oh, unbelievable. What a game. Lumen Christie down 12 0 going into the fourth quarter and uh, sent Traverse City back up north with their third straight loss in the state final. So, Amazing. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I am sorry for them. That's a heartbreaker. Eh. But um, I'm just so proud of those Titans after starting 0-3 oh, and, oh, and coming gosh. back and being down, going into the fourth. It was yeah. amazing. So as an alumni, you must be so proud. Oh, it's amazing. And uh, it never gets old, right? No. I mean, but how uh, how cool for the school to win that, so that many state titles. Yeah. It's amazing. The 12th state title in football. And is it is Coach Brogan's 10th? It's Coach Brogan's uh, 12th. 12th. His 12th or the... Oh, I'm sorry. His 10th. His 10th. His 10th. Yeah. Yeah. Right, yeah. So, you know, I, I grew up at Columbia Central Golden Eagle. So you never had so, any experiences no, no, like we this. No, we didn't. But, you know, we we'd always... I don't know, he had a little bit of yeah. spite toward how awesome Lumen was. It's called jealousy. It was jealousy. Just, oh, look uh, at those beautiful green yeah, girls. Yeah, so that's Ella and her buddies, and Stephanie drove them up how? by herself, and they had a Fun. great time. Oh, my gosh. And, uh, the, you know, I think everyone was kind of having a was was like what's going on and then the fourth quarter happened we are going to have a highlight clip later after uh after our first guest but so and this is a photo um you really like now this happens uh when you get home from every single game you, you play every game but every. you know saturday was a huge game and for them to come home and this is the first thing they do is you know they bow and they pray in in a sign of gratitude they would have done that whether they won or lost but going back to you know the the spite that we kind of had for lumen mm -hmm. i think a lot of people do but this is what it's all about this is what it boils down to is their heart and their faith and their encouragement and just they are a fantastic team coach brogan and his staff they, they they've done it consistently like they should make a movie about him i think they should so <laughs> now katie is it Luke Her, i should say this uh herb brogan's greatest high school football coach ever 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 definitely, definitely. end of story so, who are these guys of course everyone knows 12. yes yes so um what they might not know, though, is that Joe Lammers. Lathers. Lathers. What did I say? Lammers. Oh, my gosh. Lathers. That's Sorry, okay. Joe. Joe Lathers and Gabe King are cousins. Oh, my God. And this was them when they were babies. And their family always dreamed, you know, when they were running around playing rough house and football, yeah. dreamed about the day that maybe they would go to a state championship with the Lemon Christie Titans. And this Saturday, they made that dream come true. And, and if you know the Lathers family, the Kings, they are amazing. And, and they deserve this extra joy this holiday season. Yeah. Yeah, very so cool. Congratulations, boys. Yeah, it's awesome. Awesome. And the band did great. And the cheerleaders did great. Everybody everyone did great. Did great. Yeah, yeah, everyone did great. And the crowd in the fourth quarter was absolutely insane. I need to send a special thank you to uh, Noah Baker, Adam Braggenzer, Josh Burgett, and Jeff Steers. And Austin Curtis was there, too. But thanks to our staff uh, getting there very early and covering that and then coming back and getting all that work turned around on a Saturday. A Saturday. So nice. thank you, guys. Uh, there's tons of footage and photos and interviews on our website, so check those out. Um, you 
have been married 23 years. I have. Yesterday was our 23rd That's wedding amazing. anniversary. That's amazing. Happy anniversary. Thank you. We talked about it last week, too, because we actually did our yeah. celebration a little early. Yeah, but we it did. Was, so 23 ne- years ago. 23 years. That's like almost crazy, right? half my life. <laughs> Real, next year, we will have been married for half of my That's life. That's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. That so, is amazing. Yep. A lot of hard work. A lot of love, a lot of hard work. It's awesome. And uh, two wonderful children that you get to take yes. skiing with you on Thanksgiving. Yes. That's so awesome. Um, I had a, uh, I had kind of a, an interesting weekend. I made a surprise visit to North Carolina yes. to see my family. I bet they were so excited. They were. Of course, when Andrew walks in, it's always a game changer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so um, let's see if you can tell if we're related to any of these people. There's Corey Hawley on the left. Okay. My... Uh, is Uncle he Matt's or? son. He's my. These are all. These are all. We're all cousins. Okay. We're just missing one. Uh, Alex with the hat on, and then Izzy. I don't know if you can tell she's related to me or not. Oh, for sure. Mary Margaret, me, my cousin Sean. Nice. So Sean and I turned forty this year. Nice. You know? So we're we're having a we were having a hard time with that, and then of course Joy. So we uh, we got to hang out at my aunt Marcy's and see everybody for a little bit. So that was cool. Oh, wonderful! What shoes do you have on? Uh, just some uh, jumbo blazers. Oh, nothing crazy. I need your help because Katie is turning into a tennis shoe well, I sneaker can, head. I can I can help her beyond her wildest dreams. Yeah. To where she would wear heat mm. in school and no one would know where she got them. So I don't know what that is. Exactly. Exactly. But she I needs will. help. She okay. does need some help. All so, right. so yeah, we had fun. I will say that the the airport not busy. And you flew Friday, Saturday, Saturday, Saturday and Sunday. Oh, Saturday and Sunday. Yeah. Really? It wasn't busy coming back. No. Oh wow. Not at all. I heard a lot of things were not as busy as they normally are this. That weekend. is true. That oh. is true. Now Somerset, I had some uh, people that went to Somerset. Okay. Now they are notoriously cordial on Black Friday. Sure. But I did see the traditional uh, big box store fights where people were arguing over a flat screen TV and things like that. I mean, they're um, like, whatever. I just can't even. Nothing says Christmas like a Walmart fight. Yeah. Nothing. (laughs) Nothing says Christmas like that. So, hey, uh, Anna announced that this will be your last season. And I know you shop there quite a bit, but. So when she closed the cafe. Look, Mechanic Street's open. I I know. Just in time. And she announced that one day, and the very next day announced her retirement. So I have to tell everybody, get on that. Get to Anna's and get, she has so many cool collectibles and one-of-a-kind pieces. Um, great home decor. Uh, get over there while you can and show her the love and gratitude and respect she deserves for having served our community for so long. I am in a state of mourning. You were in a state of mourning when the Anna's Porch ha- Cafe closed. Still. And now you are visibly shaken. Yes, I am visibly shaken. My only hope is that when she closed the cafe, she said she was going to be working on a cookbook. Oh. Because a lot of those recipes were hers and her family's. Okay. So if this allows her time to do that, Anna, if you're watching, I really need that cookbook. Maybe she's already working on it. Yes. I have one more Thanksgiving pick. We yes. did have some family at our house, my cousins that were in from, where do they live now? Oh, they're, they live in Dallas now. They, they always live in different areas. Oh, really? Yeah, I went and visited them in July, and they lived in uh-huh. California. Now they live in Dallas. And oh, my goodness. Up. So that's Crawford, uh, James. Uh, my nephew James and, yep. Ella, and there's Ella. So Crawford right here. Okay. Uh, Marin. Uh, name. And then uh, Will over there in the uh, back corner. Hi eating. guys. So, uh, so it's was my cousin's three kids. And How fun. Yeah, they kind of grow up like like cousins of their own. So yeah, yeah. Good. Oh, that's amazing. We had pizza on Friday night. Perfect. Yeah, it was awesome. Turkey pizza? No. <laughs> Cheese no pizza pepperoni pizza, Yum. and jalapeno and pineapple so pizza. So you ended up traveling Saturday, that. which had to have been a little crazy. What about the U of M game? I, I got to see the second half. Oh, you did? The whole second half, yeah. <sighs> so, the best part. Yeah, I did. And uh, I couldn't have watched it with better people. Yeah. And it was, uh, it was awesome. It was great. So happy. Brandon <gasps> congratulated me this morning. Oh, and, what uh, a big you man know, you are. Wonderful, you know. Um, so I'm very excited. It was a big day in your family, too. Oh, it's awesome. Yeah. yeah, so Travis and Lakeisha were there, and they were in enemy territory. So he said that every time they'd celebrate, they were like... I, I saw that picture couldn't. of your brother there. He, yeah. He's crazy for going. I know. He, so one of his best What's friends... What's wrong with him? One of his best friends from chiropractor college is a Buckeye, and he's a Wolverine. Still. So they take turns hosting every year. Um, but, but this year, his tickets were, like, deep in enemy territory. You know that's not safe. It really is not. I was a little not. worried. He was I wouldn't have gone. I, 
I thought you might never see him again. Well, he had a ball, but he said that the guy sitting next to him told him that secretly he was a Minnesota graduate, but his wife was a Buckeye. He's like, I'm uh, secretly cheering for you guys. So really? They, yeah, so wow. they had a, a really good time, and I just cannot even imagine the celebrations Saturday evening. Yeah, it was, it was I'd be afraid getting out of there if I was a Michigan fan. Because if agree. the Ohio State wins, it's not as bad, but when they lose, they're yeah. really mad. Yeah, what I is would. the deal with everybody being such poor losers? Well, when the 19 and 20 year olds that play for your favorite university make mistakes, it's hard to come out of the basement, right, Adam? <laughs> it's just the way it is. Do you know what I heard on the radio this morning? It was really funny. What's that? <laughs> he said, and Ohio State is headed for the toilet pool. Aww. <laughs> Aww. I thought it was they, funny. They still might get into the uh, college football playoff. Stranger things have, uh, hmm. have happened. You brought along some pictures of some gifts. Yes, yes, I could. I was just running behind today, so I forgot to bring my things. But please, in your shopping this holiday season, consider the Village of Brooklyn. These adorable candles, and you know, these are from um, your FN senses, so oh, you yes. know they're awesome. Um, but they have them at the Village Peddler. A uh, couple different fragrances. This one I love because it has the old water tower. It says Merry Christmas from Brooklyn. So especially if you're sending something to someone, Very nice. wouldn't this be a great thing to open up and see? Um, whether they're from Brooklyn or not, just a little Merry Christmas love from there. Uh, that's at the Village Peddler. This is also at the Village Peddler. This oh, I love Cardinals. I don't know if you knew that about me. I didn't know that, but I love Cardinals too. And you know, we lost our Gaga last year, and um, so Cardinals have become even more significant. And then you see them more when you think about them more. Um, but this is beautiful. It's like an interactive glow. Everything in there was beautiful, but that just really stood out. So that was also at the Village Peddler. This I'm going to call cooler than Bayberry. Burberry. Burberry. I thought it was my problem today. Are you okay? I'm not okay. <laughs> I bought really? my wife a Burberry watch about 15 years ago. Bayberry or Burberry? It was Burberry. <laughs> it was Burberry from the Somerset Mall. Oh, nice. Now, you, do you, you, have, you have a lot of Bayberry then? Um, no. Kerman has a Burberry watch, actually, that I got him, too. Oh, wow. Also from How there. about that? But, um, no, this I'm going to call Better Than Burberry Coat. This is from Sweet Caroline's in downtown Brooklyn, and I just think it's so stylish and fun, and I love that Cute. plaid, classic plaid. I think I've got just a couple more. Things. Oh, these I really think we should make. How easy would that be to is make that, for an appetizer? Oh, wow, that's, that They're is They're just very skewers easy. with a Brandon marshmallow, a grape, that. a banana, a strawberry, very easy. and another um, marshmallow. So just some holiday gift idea or holiday cool. appetizer ideas. This is from Kelsey's in downtown Brooklyn. How Brooklyn's cute got are those shopping. gnomes? You, they really do. And they've got dining and drinks and coffee and all the things. So I hope you'll come and shop the boulevard this holiday season and um, definitely hit up all those fun stores. Yeah, and after you uh, visit Brooklyn, Brooklyn, visit Jackson. We have a holiday yes. window decorating contest going on right now and you can vote by visiting the Experience Jackson app. Yes. I think our window's decorated. Well, I'm not sure. Did but you see you know the window next door? They're giving you some serious Yeah, no, and we don't want to win. Okay. We would like someone else to okay. win. Okay. But, um, yeah, so you can, uh, you can vote. This year's theme is Winter Wonderland. Awesome. It's the holiday window decorating contest. And I should mention that Giving Tuesday is here, whether you're watching this Monday or Tuesday. We are on Tuesday this year. Giving Tuesday, a great opportunity to support your uh, local charities. It's a global giving movement, yep. generosity, and you'll see a lot of people. Um, Having fundraisers tomorrow for Giving Tuesday, yes. so if you get a chance, uh, try and do a little giving on Giving Tuesday. The Ella Sharp Museum has a holiday market, more opportunities to shop local and visit local artists. So December 3rd, 4th, 10th, and 11th, you can buy seasonal art, locally made things. I love Perfect. locally made things. Yes, yeah, that's cool. awesome. Awesome. Make so sure that you is get out there and do that. Plus, it's just an experience going out there. Yeah, it's fun. It's yeah. great. And uh, I see that calendar reminds me of the holiday ball this weekend. It's just yes. there's there's a lot going on. It is the Christmas season here in Jackson. So we're looking forward to celebrating. We have a lot coming up yes, on today's do. show, including uh, a couple very special guests that uh, Jennifer has invited. We're going to get things started with Under Sheriff Chris Simpson right after this quick break.